I'm Nina Tannen. I'm a scientist and co-founder of a company called EpiBone, where we grow bones from human stem cells to help people who need new bones. I come from a family in which I was very much encouraged to follow engineering um, because of being female. When I was a kid, my father would say, you're good at math and science, and so you should do math and science, because if you don't, you are doing a disservice to women. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> At EpiBone, we're re-envisioning the way we can repair the human body. Oftentimes, people don't realize that after blood, bone is the second most transplanted human tissue. The gold standard when you need a bone implant is quite literally to cut it out of a human. What we propose to do is something really different. Instead of looking outside to donors for replacing our body parts, we're making bones from stem cells and saying, how do we collaborate with those stem cells that are repairing our bodies every day? Looking in a microscope, those cells become heroes. They are no longer extras in the movie. They are protagonists in the movie. And you look at them and they're so cute. You know, the longer I live, the more compassion I feel for objects inanimate or animate and how to find my place in there and do right by them. But as these images I was one of only 10% women in my class in engineering. We have this gender bias in our media and oftentimes young girls are turned off by science. I've been teaching going on eight years now. I was the first female electrical engineering lecturer in the school in like the first 150 years. And people have noticed that my classes have a much higher ratio of female students, even in an engineering school. So I make a real effort to make time available to students who want to chat. I just yeah. wanted to say that all week so that it's important for artists and scientists to work together. Yeah. Um, I used to watch this My name's Maya, and this summer I'm the artist in residence at EpiBone. I explore any and all connections that I see between art and science. It's kind of, so, um... So, like, this is, like... Yeah, it's sort of like... Awesome. We've been discovering certain limitations of our technology because she's pushing it. And artists tend to push the limits of technology in ways that scientists don't. Sometimes as a scientist, I feel really uncool compared to my artist friends. But then I, I sometimes think about what we do and I realize that there's a lot of creativity when you think, what's the experiment that's going to lead me towards creation of knowledge that can help answer a question? Oftentimes, the confidence that I have is completely subconscious. And the insecurities I have are completely conscious. And then I look and I realize, wow, I'm on this really long marathon of a scientific career. And discovering that there must be confidence to be on that has been a source of empowerment for me to realize, oh, this commitment I have is a type of confidence. I feel like we're getting away with something really amazing. It's. Um, it's a real privilege.